Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to our first video of 2023. I hope you all had an amazing time. I hope you're all gonna have an amazing 2023. And I'm looking forward to hear all about it throughout the year. All your goals, all your dreams and all your successes. But for now, let's just get into this video. If you were betrayed in 2022, this message is for you. I was just thinking about the fact that I never got an apology and I'm sure that you can relate. But as I'm sitting here on the beach on this beautiful Christmas, a thought came to me. What would an apology give to me that I can't give to myself? I know what happened. I know what my truth is. And an apology from someone whose words mean nothing is not something that I need. Yeah, except while I'm lying on this beach on Christmas Day all by myself, let me post a video saying how I really don't need an apology. Who are you trying to convince, me or yourself? What would an apology bring you? Closure. Or the fake feeling that you were on the right and he was on the wrong. Maybe that's even the case, but I wonder if he's just as happy as you are for not apologizing to you. I swear... I heard this somewhere and I need verification from the TikTok peeps. So I am the perpetually single woman. Like everybody knows this. My the girls I call on know it. My coworkers know it. Like it's a thing, right? So a few days ago, one of my girls was telling me, you know, the 12 grapes um, on the New Year's thing. Like that's a thing that I've known of forever. But she was saying that if I eat the 12 grapes while sitting underneath a table and simultaneously manifesting a husband, then the following year I will get a husband. Nobody can corroborate this. I have asked so many people and everybody's like, no, I have no idea what you're talking about or if this is a thing. So can somebody confirm this for me before I embarrass the shit out of myself in front of my animals and sit under the table popping grapes? <laughs> Oh, if only your animals can speak. Those will be the stories I would love to hear. But let me get this right. You already asked a lot of people about it. They all said you're cuckoo. And now you're on TikTok hoping you're gonna find another cuckoo telling you, yeah, do that and it's gonna work. Why not go ahead and do it from the beginning? Get your animals into another room, close the door, and go ahead and get under the table. Telling us all what you're about to do, it's not gonna help you find a husband. Listen, some men are not romantic, and that's okay for whoever they end up with, but not me. I actually want flowers. And I really don't care. So I have a dating rule. Maybe you agree with it. Maybe you don't. If I have to ask for it. I don't want it. If I need to ask for you to make proper quality time with me, suddenly that time doesn't mean that much. If I have to ask you to get me flowers, I don't really want the flowers. And literally this rule is why I broke up with my ex because I realized I had to keep begging him and asking him to make time for me and show up and care for me. If I asked, he would do those things, but I still felt like it, and it's because I shouldn't have to ask for you to want to care about me. Somehow I still don't care. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't care either. It's always about me, 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 isn't it? If you had to keep asking for stuff, it probably means you're never reciprocating whatever he was giving you. Quality time together means quality time for the both of you, not just for yourself. Quality time for him, it means you need to put in some effort, not just be there and expect stuff. Y'all wanna know what's upsetting me today? I don't like that men want their women to be untouchable. They don't want them to be passed around. They want them to respect themselves, right? But they could be passed around to the whole city. So you want me to be like the Virgin Mary, fresh out the womb, but you want to hunch like a dog. That ain't right. What's going on? Oh no, something is upsetting you today? Oh no, what are we ever going to do now? What's going on? Well, this is what's going on. Shut up, it is not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. He blocked you because he knows there's consequences for your actions. And now you know. In reality, most men don't want to be passed around to the whole city. And even the ones that do, can't. In return, because it's easier for you to get passed around to the whole city, you can get at least half of the city to be passed around. And the consequences to those actions are that the man you want block you. Either you like it or not, it doesn't matter. It makes no difference. He still blocked you. If somebody wants to be in a relationship with you, you guys are going to be in a relationship in less than like two days. They're literally just going to be like, hey, we're together now. They might even move you in in like 
three weeks and they might propose to you in literally less than two months. When someone is sure, they're sure, you know? They don't have to like question it or... It's like business. You know when someone wants to invest in something, they just kind of invest in it. They don't have to think about it for months because they know that the opportunity is not going to be there. So it's like they're either in or they're out. Have you ever watched Shark Tank? Relationships are kind of like the same thing. Like the person is either in or they're not in. So my advice, don't stand around waiting for someone to figure it out, you know, because you're just going to be an option at that point. Well, at least you have your looks going for you, because other than that, you won't be able to find a spoon in your own hand. If this is just another excuse to jump from man to man, I mean, sure, yeah, whatever. But other than that, it's just turning one night stand into a one week long relationship, which gets you to the same point, jumping from man to man. Moving with someone in less than three weeks, you don't even know if you can stand each other for more than an hour. It's not only stupid, that's even dangerous. You mentioned shark tanks, well, that's great, but at least with a shark shark tank you know there's a shark in there you kind of know what to expect move in with someone in less than three weeks that could easily turn into the beginning of a new horror movie it doesn't even matter if you're a man or a woman you should give yourself more time to vet your next partner better so here's the thing physical compliments actually piss me off but i have two compliments that have a weight in my heart and when i tell you there's this one boy that i have been doing everything in my power to despise just because he's the epitome of my type and i've been trying to work against my type so we just have like a lot of banter and i've never complimented him i've never been nice to him I tell him i hate him every day and anyways he comes up to me and he's like i know this is gonna sound really corny um the first time i saw you i thought you were beautiful but then you smiled and your smile and I'm like stop it right now I'm just like looking at him I'm like no 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 it's gonna get me in trouble I'm not telling you the second compliment because then you guys are gonna use it against me okay so physical compliments bother you unless they come from the guy you like well that makes sense if there was a point to this video other than you telling the guy you like that you like him i can't find it maybe i'm missing something but now he knows you like those physical compliments you say you don't like not that it matters because you already like him but you contradicting yourself in your own video it's probably gonna give him a hard time trying to come up with a different compliment except a physical compliment i like you for your mind will you be okay with him lying to you yeah, you already like him, so you probably would. Okay, let's see now. I will absolutely walk all over you if you're a weak man. My energy is 100% masculine and my aggressive personality is not for the weak. Okay, fair enough. I'm not gonna lie, your personality looks pretty good from this angle right here. But then again, a lot of you have the same personality, so you're nothing special. A while back, everyone knew that taming the beast was the end game for every hunter. And every beast was letting herself tame by the proper hunter. But now, with these masculine, aggressive personalities... The hunter is called insecure and controlling if he's trying to tame the beast. That's why all the beasts today are single, wondering where are all the good hunters while settling for the weak man. It's funny how you jump to calling me a misandrist for acknowledging that misogyny exists in the world. And the right corner is an echo chamber for men like y'all to gather and hate women. Very ironic for you to be saying that about me when this is the name to your alt account. Interesting how this all started because you decided to comment on a video of mine calling me a misogynist and I respectfully asked you for proof of said misogyny. But the truth has a way of showing itself. That's tough. Telling her to bring proof to her claim, telling her to hold accountability for her words and her actions. Come on, man. I've been watching your content for a while. You know better than that. You even said it yourself. That's the name of her old account. What do you expect from someone like that? He's a 10, but when you guys are watching Netflix together, he falls asleep within the first five minutes and then snores throughout the entire show. Like, the whole time. He is obviously a 20. No scratch that, he is a 200. But anyway, that brought us to the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.